In this tutorial, we'll be using a calorimeter to solve for a heat of solution. So let's start this problem. And uh, we'll be using the background is uh, the tutorial on the calorimeter overview. And we'll be using the same three steps that we used in the heat of combustion problem. So just to recall, the first step is we're using uh, the heat equation in terms of uh, the calorimeter and the calorimeter is always measuring the surroundings because that's where it's getting its heat from or heat is leaving so the the q equals mc delta t will be from the surroundings perspective in step two you flip the sign to make it from the system's perspective and then in step three we divide by the amount used the amount of material that was used by the system to put it in kilojoules per mole so that's an overview so, so uh, we have um, 3 grams of NaOH dissolved in 50 milliliters of water. It says calculate the heat of solution. The temperature of the reaction went from 21 to 36. Um, the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. And it says assume the specific heat to be the same as water. So let's go over a, a drawing of what's happening here. So we have a coffee cup. It's called a coffee cup calorimeter. And uh, so here's water, is our uh, solvent, and then our solute gets added to it, and it's 3.0 grams, 3.00 grams of NaOH sodium hydroxide. So we know uh, group one hydroxides are known to be soluble. So the, uh, what happens is <clears throat> the temperature went up from 21 to 36. So so here's 21.0. Okay, and then here's 36, so it went from here to here. I'll use red to show that the temperature went up to 36.0. Okay, and so what is our system in this problem? Our system is, as always, the chemical and what it does. So it's NaOH dissolving. So it's solid NaOH, and then there's a dissolution process where they become dissolved ions okay and it turns out that this process is must be exothermic because the temperature increased so the surroundings got hot so we should expect a negative enthalpy for uh because it's exo okay so um step one is the surroundings Okay, and so this is called the uh, heat of solution. Okay, and solution. Remember from uh, the bomb calorimeter problem, our first step is uh, is actually Q cal. So when it says solution, it's actually the heat of the calorimeter. Okay, equals the mass of the solution times the specific heat of the solution times delta T for the solution. So what what is the mass of the solution okay it's uh they tell us that water is a, a gram per milliliter um this actually should say the density of the solution not water the density of the solution um we could assume it to be the same as water so <clears throat> the uh the mass of the solution is what you have here so the water is is 50 milliliters and uh, 50 milliliters is the same as grams. So 50 milliliters okay, is uh, 50.0 grams. So we have 50 grams of water, and, and then we added to it 3 grams of NaOH. So those are, those are actually additive when we get the mass of solution. So this mass number is the mass of the entire solution when you're doing one of these types of problems okay the C of solution is they said assume it to be the same as for water so this will be 4.184 joules per gram times Celsius and then uh, Delta T it went from 21 to 36 so Delta T would be 15.0 degrees Celsius so the mass of the entire solution then is 53.0 grams Okay, so if I multiply all these numbers together, then I get the following. I get, uh, let's see, I did this problem ahead of time, and I got 3.33 
you should have three sig figs times 10 to the third uh, joules. Okay, so this is the surroundings. So notice that this number is positive because delta T was positive. Um, so our next step in calorimetry is to put it in terms of the system. So the system is this, is specifically this process right here. So this is the system. The surroundings is the the water, including it's it's actually like including the water and the mass of the uh, the system itself became part of the surroundings. So like the atoms and, and uh, ions are actually feeling the heat as well. So and then this is all measured by this thermometer. So long story short, you just flip the sign. Okay, so you take your the heat of solution equals the negative heat of the reaction. So we change the sign, 3.3 times 10 to the third joules. Okay, and then last step here is um, you divide. Basically, we want to try to get um, kilojoules per mole. And what's this mole amount? This is the mole of substance used okay and what we used in this problem was this 3.3 .3 grams of sodium hydroxide okay so uh, it's just basically step three is some unit analysis so we take our negative 3.33 times 10 to the third joules in one kilojoule there's a thousand joules Okay, and then divide by the mass used, so which was 3.00 grams of NaOH, and then change that number to moles. So there are 40.0 grams per mole of NaOH. Okay, all your units should cancel, except for the ones you want. So kilojoules per mole of system. Okay, uh, let's see if I have this number. So I got negative 44.4 kilojoules per mole of NaOH. Okay, and then you can see if this actually agrees with um, an actual actual data. So you could go to... You could type in so these are these are like things you can Google. So you could type in the enthalpy of solution uh, for sodium hydroxide. Okay, and um, here we have this table of like common uh, like common chemicals and their their heat changes when they dissolve. So hydrochloric acid, you could see here that hydrochloric acid um, releases more heat per mole than uh, sodium hydroxide. So as you can see, some of these numbers are positive as well. So those those would actually, uh, the actual container would actually feel cold because these guys are taking in heat. Okay, on if you dissolve this one, it releases uh, quite a bit of heat. So the container, when you, do, when you dissolve sodium hydroxide, would actually feel hot. So, um, and you see our experimental number that we got actually agrees very well with the actual number. So, I wanted to show this because to show you that these enthalpy of solutions, they're like, they're set numbers um, for whatever substance it is. So, it depends on the type of substance. And these are kind of like physical properties of that substance, like when it reacts. Okay, so that's the, uh, the enthalpy change. And so if you wanted to, you could write this out, sodium hydroxide dissolving. Okay, and then you would write this number by this, by the uh, equation. So people know that um, this is, uh, this number is related, this is the heat of change related to this process. All right, so uh, I have one for you guys to try. Okay, and here's the problem. So 
um, I'll, I'll go ahead and end the tutorial here. You could pause it and write this down and see if you can uh, figure this, you know, solve this problem. Um, some key, a couple of key points is uh, remember follow the three steps that I've been that I've been using, and uh, it goes surroundings, flip the sign for system, and then you divide by the amount that was uh, used. Um, but one one key thing to remember is um, these these numbers. Um, this this number here becomes um, part of this number when you when you go when you uh, on step one when you're trying to get mass as solution. So this number and this number should be uh, should be additive. Okay, so uh, give this problem a try. That's the end of our tutorial.